guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be playing a new game, Song of Four. It came out in like October or something, and uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. Um, if you're new here and uh, if you like what you see so far, uh, please hit that subscribe button. I know you probably haven't seen like a lot yet, but please hit that subscribe button and that'd uh, be much appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. That is alrighty then. That's cool. That's cool. Something tells me that's demonic or supernatural. I just have a feeling, you know. Oh, good picture too. Come on, man. He came. He came in. He was like, "Shut up, kids! Stop playing with my music box!" And he just smacked it, dude. He knew what was up with it. I would recommend using headphones and controls for emergency. Immersive, immersive experience. September 25th, 1998. Hey dude, how's it going? Welcome to the house, welcome to the apartment, brother. Daniel's apartment. Home sweet home. Home sweet home indeed. Old flashlight. Nice, nice. Let's see the bathroom. Let's see what's going on. Man, the toilet drain stinks as usual. Well, maybe you should clean it. And, yeah. Hello. Anybody home? I plan to spend my Sundays on this couch listening to jazz. Yes, sir. X-Files, episode 1998. Hmm. Should sell the old thing once and for all. Oh, that's your childhood bike though, man. Some leftover coffee. So we can clean as usual. I'm not really hungry. Plus, I didn't eat, get any groceries for this week. You starving yourself out there, dude? Also, take out the trash, man. Come on, Daniel. Seriously? Oh come on, man! I'm trying to, trying to, just trying to chillax out here, dude. Hello, Daniel. It's me, Etienne. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here. Oh, you're joking! Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found. And his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Usher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. 4 Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find him. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. No problem, ETN or whatever your name is. ATNT. Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old hush of themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. Though I mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. If only things had gone a bit better for the company, or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. 
I would have divorced myself in her place. Daniel Neuer, the bloody alcoholic. Chin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Oh. Wake publishes employee by day, Wake publishes screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husha, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Ooh. That Let's cross our fingers place. and hope he's home. I hope he's home too. We can get a raise and uh, end the game. Because I don't want to play this game when the game's called Song of Horror. That's how you know something bad's going to happen. The Husher Mansion is the 19th century colony house property of... Sub okay, alright. My loading screen. Pay attention to what characters say. They often give clues about important objectives nearby or how to face dangerous situations. Characters with high stealth will draw less attention, which means they are generally face fewer threats. Wowzers. What's Daniel? Please tell me he has more stuff in the game. He's like the OP's character. Want some wind to come into the house. Maybe the wind blew it open. You know? Hopefully. A little bicycle. Oh, a tricycle. My bad. I didn't know I sure had kids. Me either. Maybe grandkids. Newspaper the murderer they arrested a few weeks ago. Right. Of the door. Hello? Hello? Is that music? I'd better take a look. And this is why you're going to die. Handy dandy flashlight. Ooh. Light source. On and off. Okay. <laughs> is that someone playing a music box? Handy dandy hat. Some paintings we have here. That's weird. What are all these suitcases doing here? Maybe he wants to leave because he knows what bad's about to happen. What a beauty. Must sound like an angel. Yeah, it's a cool piano. Something on that doorknob. Hmm. What is on that doorknob? Document items. Now it's definitely outlast you confidentials. Dear Sebastian, I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys. Interesting. On what the? How can there be a door there? Yeah, we should leave this place. Let's just go. But you know what? Screw it. Let's just go in there and see what's all up. Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. Anybody home? Stupid decisions. Who cares if the high pay raise, dude? Don't go in there. I'm gonna die. I'd hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. Mm -hmm. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by. 
until turning into days, and I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries, howling in horror, and sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations, nightmares, black nothingness and the song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. And now it disappeared, and now we can never get out of here. Three days later, Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay, I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course, same to you. Usher's Mansion. Alrighty. Let's get on to it, dude. If you're struck reading the document you found, the clues you're looking for might just be hiding in plain sight. Well, this is where I'm probably going to end it. Thank you guys for uh, watching and sticking to the end. And if you like it so far, please hit that subscribe button and I'd appreciate it. And uh, hit that like button. Thanks and bye-bye. Uh,